Did Henry VII also burn people at the stake? So there's a very common misconception that Mary I just invented the act of burning people at the stake. But the reality is that burning people at the stake was just what was done in those days to certain criminals. Of course, I say criminals loosely because nowadays they would not be considered criminals. But in those days, again, 500, 600 years ago, if someone was considered a witch or a heretic, they would be burnt at the stake. That was simply their punishment, just the same as other crimes had other punishments. So if you were a traitor, you would be beheaded or hung, drawn and quartered. There were many, many forms of punishment in those days. Let's not forget Henry VIII passed a law that said people would be boiled alive if they would be condemned of attempted poisoning. But yes, Henry VII also burned people at the stake and so did the king that came before him and before him and before him. It actually became a law in the 1100s for that to be the actual punishment of that crime. And people often say that Mary was so much worse because she executed so many more heretics in her time than any other. But you need to consider that, of course, during Mary's reign, she inherited a country which was rife with said heretics. Protestantism was not really a thing that existed in England prior to Henry VIII. Martin Luther is who brought forth this concept in the 1510s. And it was during Henry VIII's reign that it became a popular concept. Of course, Henry VIII then embraced Protestantism so that he could break from Rome, marry Anne Boleyn. And this is then when the number of Protestants in England increased tenfold. So, of course, by the time Mary inherited the throne, she wanted to return to Catholicism, therefore get rid of Protestantism, which is why when it came to burning the criminals that were deemed heretics, there were so many more heretics in England than had ever previously been, which is why she had nearly 300 of them burnt at the stake within five years. So in comparison, of course, to Henry VII, all the others that came before her, she had more heretics burnt than others in a five-year reign. But that doesn't mean that she's the bloodiest of all the Tudor monarchs. In fact, Henry VIII had up to 72,000 people executed during his reign, many of which were burnt at the stake. Others were boiled alive, others were squashed. There were so many different varieties of punishment for a certain crime. So yes, every monarch had people burnt at the stake as of around the 1100s. It was just a common concept at the time. Just like nowadays, there are still states in America who have the lethal injection. And not so long ago, they had the electric chair. You know, we are evolving in our society, but we're still executing people for crimes. 